Okay. So the robots I have for the robot I have color sensors inside. I have to clean the display, the protective shield, but it's translucent and the camera's able to see through it. So you have the color sensors. And this is synced to identify with the video footage. As far as the color to enhance the um the saturation and the colors. Night vision sensors localize around the camera that you see. Um, this is the animatronic face and as far as uh, head to the robot. And I apply the color sensors here. But, and I also apply the servo um, module here. So we'll be controlling these servos down at the bottom in the mouse servo and the vertebrae servo. I'm gonna coat the brackets with polyurethane. I'm gonna apply piezos within the holes, localized within the holes and enclose it with polyurethane. I believe little open areas for buzzes, for sensing, as far as also detecting. I'm also gonna put detectors there, as far as like the modules to the smoke detectors localized at the lips. I have the coin batteries localized here, which is two coin batteries, three volts, there are at six volts per unit. So here is 12 volts on that side and 12 volts on that side for the coin battery slot. Now the circuit modulus is in the head in the lower part of here, which I created by hand. Now I'm gonna be sanding these parts and I'm also gonna be making uh, uh, the ears for the transducers, the rotary um, transducers, which basically actually rotates around in a circular. This enables the per rotation pressure to move the velocity of the sound waves more far further. In distance. So when tractoring the sound waves, as far as a transducer to listen, listening, it can listen further than that. Human magneto Doppler sensors are sensors. Um, the exterior I'm going to apply alongside the lining of the exterior in two directions, one horizontal and one vertical. This part is going to be vertical for the touch right here. So it's using the passive light sensors to pass through so that the light shines on it. I'm going to put acrylic gland here so that it will react as a light sensor. The full body, the, the robot is going to have the touch sensors. I'm also going to coat this in uh, latex and like a mass. So it will be more sufficient in the further. But until then, um, I'm just going to apply these certain circuits. I'm also going to, the touch sensors will also correspond with the latex. I'm going to create the magneto latex because I'm going to add uh, permanent magnets and aluminum within the uh, latex mixtures powder. And that will correspond because I do want it to operate as a battery, a pyro, pyro electric effect battery. So I'm going to be using aluminum, gadolinium, copper, and uh, quartz crystal, energy crystal powder. All of these powders will be incorporated within a latex mix when I use latex to make a mass out of this system. And uh, even though the eyes it will be animatronic, I'm going to be leaving an open clearance of the eyes. So the better I make it, the more I make it more hum human. Even if I take off the shield, the more I make it uh, like an animatronic human. And I will be wrap, wrapping winding coils around alongside the edges. So I may synchronize this with the transformer and also recharge batteries and synchronize the batteries under the latex, which will be a low voltage um, uh, winding electrical energy winding. However, but it will be enough voltage to synchronize the battery to recharge. And the pure electric effect, as far as uh, electrofluxing the density of the quartz crystal thermodynamics, will cause uh, the piezoelectric effect. The piezoelectric effect will exert energy within the magnetic field because of the thermodynamics of the synchronous gadolinium. Gadolinium powder mixture with silicon and bismuth powder mixture with um, aluminum and, uh, and copper. These uh, compounds will operate as an electrochemical battery mesh, which will be incorporated within a latex that enclose the servos and housing. So that will be like the power actually supply. So even thermodynamics from heating will cause the exertion of the pyro quartz crystal exerting against the aluminum and exerting against the copper exerting against the silicon and a silicon electroflux magnetic flux density and exerts to the bismuth uh bismuth powder and creates the thermoelectric effect and palatary effect and thompson effect um, refrigeration so at the same time the cold temperature is the cold mag uh, cold powder but i'm also going to add nicodinium, nicodinium powder which also will magnetize and create the Newt newtonian force the energy that's needed in order to get this thing to fly also mm. as a uh, a large uh, robotic um, aerial drone. So, um, this should be autonomous. I'm going to finish this design. My name is Jermaine Morton. Have a nice day. Goodbye.